in this video we are going to talk about uh, slowly changing dimension <coughs> so uh, these are the key areas so what is slowly changing dimension and uh, different types of implementations for slowly uh, changing dimension handling and um, uh, what are the key factors to consider in uh, selecting the CD types let's get into what is slowly changing dimension so changing so the uh, um, in plain English so you can understand that the uh, there is something uh, values changing in dimension uh, that is slowly not uh, in a rapid manner so that's called the slowly changing dimension so in terms of period ways uh, uh, in data virus um, terminologies we used to say that so six months to six uh, after six months to uh, one year so like that so here uh, we can take an example of employee table so where it has employee day, name department salary and the city so when we do the uh, dimension and the tab, uh, fact table identification so we, we will be identifying as the uh, employee ID name department city as the dimension table and the employee ID salary uh, goes to uh, fact table so where implied is the uh, mapping column between the dimension and the fact table and uh, when we take the uh, CT right so these are uh, this particular column is the SED uh, 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 column so where uh, employee might change their um, uh, job location from uh, one place to another place so that case that is how we are going to handle it so we, we can see that so what are the types of um, ACD handling are there so one is type 1 type 2 type 3 uh, these are the major types so what we are currently using in a real-time um, uh, data warehouse uh, world so for example the scenario what we are considering is employee currently um, uh, employee one at one is in Bangalore now he he is going to ship from Bangalore to Chennai so that case is how we are going to uh, handling with these uh, different types of um, SED so uh, in SED type 1 so um, currently uh, employee one at one is in Bangalore so now he is going to move in move to uh, Chennai so in SED type 1 uh, the Bangalore will be updated to Chennai directly so uh, the existing record will be updated so in that case what are the advantages so there is no additional memory is required since we are going to update the existing record not creating a new record disadvantage would be we cannot trace back so we don't have the history of um, um, changes what we made in past that's the drawback of the uh, CD type 1 and uh, when we go to a uh, type 2 so uh, in this case right so we'll be adding a new column uh, where we can track whether this uh, uh, record is active or not so that case so uh, um, a new record existing record will be marked as uh, no for uh, is active column and new record will be inserted with uh, uh, updated city Chennai and the is active will be yes so for um, her reporting or any other uh, uh, processes so the is active uh, column yes only will be considered so for auditing purpose so we'll be um, using the uh, uh, is active no also so the main advantage is that we can uh, trace back to the history and disadvantage would be so it since we were keeping all the record changes so it it might um, uh, accumulate the memory so uh, in case of type 3 so what we will be doing is so, so we uh, will be adding a new column with uh, uh, column name underscore old so in that so what happens is Bangalore uh, the old value Bangalore will be loaded into old and the uh, city will be loaded <coughs> as, as uh, latest one Chennai so uh, the advantage of um, uh, type 3 would be you, we can trace back and the disadvantage would be the column not columns will be uh, more at the same time so we can't add more number of columns so the columns there should be some limitation with the columns either uh, uh, three changes are 
past three changes or four changes can be accumulated the, these are the um, are these are drawbacks of type 3 so what what are the key factors are based on our um, uh, experience with uh, type 1 type 2 type 3 so uh, these are the factors I don't want to first one would be that I don't want to keep the old records I don't want to um, uh, the keep the history of the changes that case be better go with the type 1 so I want to the second factor be I want to keep old record but not ready of uh, adding additional columns so then go with the type 2 so where we'll be having um, only one column is like 2 and um, uh, with tracking with the new record uh, uh, with is like 2 equal to yes and uh, up here so I want to keep old records irrespective of number of changes that case type 3 would be uh, preferred and um, uh, when we considering about the memory size type 1 I'm not worrying about the memory size type 2 and type 3 that's all